Hey everyone, welcome to Urban Rush Gung Hey Fat Choi. It is yes. Monday, January the 23rd, 2012. We have a great show coming up for you today. I'm Fiona Forbes. And I'm Michael Eckford. Happy Lunar New Year, Year of the Dragon. I know, I'm. you know, we're going to be talking about this on the show today. You know, I've been told different things. So we have Stephanie Ewan on the show today. Yeah, I hear She's going to be telling us strength, all about it. volatility, I hear all Roller these different coaster. things. Uh, lots of fun. But anyway, we'll find out more about it on the show because that's what we do here. We educate you. And, and sometimes you that. might learn something. Uh, not yeah, from us. Not for, oh, right. From okay, the guests. Yeah, if we clear that out. Uh, Snowmageddon, once again. Didn't happen, people. Friday, I had a flight out of town, and I was, I was, I was so worried. Didn't happen. Yeah, freezing rain looks surprisingly like rain. Yeah. Uh, when they said a freezing Being rain. Being that it wasn't below zero, and I would look on my app on my iPhone, you know, when the red banner flashes, warning, warning, winter storm warning, freezing rain. I'm looking out the window going, uh, it looks like spring. Yeah, this is Seattle a couple of years ago. They got all the fun this year, if you consider this fun, which, frankly, I kind of do. But, you know, it's kind of uh, mild today, yeah. I think. Thankfully, I think everyone in Vancouver, their chapped lips healed up over the last 24 hours. Did, don't, don't you find that when it's dry like that and your lips just kind of go... Not over up here. <laughs> That's because you have that guy that follows you around and he applies your lip gloss. Your no, lip it's because be girls poppin'. constantly are putting lip stuff on so we don't get the okay. chapsies. Okay, well, every guy in the city felt like their lips were falling off their face. And you know what so. the funny thing is about guys and chapstick? Like, they'll, if a girl takes out her lip gloss, she'll just put it on, but when guys do it, they kind of go... And they just get the weirdest yeah. look on their face and they just mash it you on. You know what? If humans were really intelligently designed, <laughs> licking your lips would be enough to keep your lips from being chapped. But it just makes it worse. <laughs> it's unfair. It's Life the first thing unfair, you want to do. Uh, okay, you had a big weekend. You were down in La La Land this weekend. Yes, I went to L.A. Uh, we actually went to uh, a couple of girlfriends and I went down because... Uh, the we hashtag for, crowd? The hashtag crowd. Mm -hmm. We go crazy on Twitter when we go out of town. We call ourselves uh, the Cali Road Trippers. But we did go down uh, for a very good cause to pose for the No Hate campaign. And, of course, I brought back a little slideshow for you so I can tell you all huh? about my trip. There's nothing like getting a massage before you get on a plane. This oh. is at the airport. I ha I never do it, but it we got there stupid, early. Makes you stupid, You almost miss your plane when it happens. Oh, I've done it once man. before. And... But there's, it's good being chill before you get on a flight because you you don't care if it's late. You don't yeah, care if it smells. You don't care about why there's ashtrays in the armrests, even though you couldn't smoke on planes for 20 Whoa, years. Whoa, that's an old plane. <laughs> I know. It's wow. so scary. When you see the ashtray, you're like, Whoa, you're like what yeah. kind of junk heap am I on? Yeah. And I uh, got down to LA Russian. and I went out for a martini. And I'm one of those people that if my martini doesn't look like there's a salad in it, it's not a martini. And so that's a I'm really one of those people that if I drink a martini, I lose my dude card. Do you make it rain? <laughs> I make it rain. No, my <laughs> and pants, that my pants right there, off. somebody, my friend told me to try this, is a vodka slushie at a restaurant called Bazaar at the SLS Hotel. It's delicious. How do they make a vodka slushie look classy? Because um, when I do those, everyone just thinks I'm going all small town. <laughs> but they do it in L.A. at a nice restaurant, and everybody thinks it's, oh, look at the oh, vodka slushie. Oh, it's God. delicious. No, Dangerous and delicious. What more could you ask for? It's like if you did a jello shooter there. Everyone would be like, oh, a jello shooter. No, oh, that's his, uh, he, him at the Roxy, jello shooters. Speak for yourself. And, I know uh, where I live. The, right. Let's go to the next picture here. This is what happens if you drink dirty martinis, vodka slushies, and then try and go shopping the next day. I got shopped out. Oh, that never happened. Uh, but my girlfriend who has a addiction to purses did not get shopped out. She's still going. She's still going. And uh, this is a funny story. This is at Barney's in Beverly Hills. Is that Mary Hills. Zilba? It's Mary, my friend Mary Zilba. You've met her on the show before. Part of the hashtag army. We... Actually, she fell down. She was so excited about a pair of boots that she stuck. You know how they have the price tag on the bottom of the boots? Yeah. She stuck the boot at me to, so I could check the price, not thinking that she didn't have, like, another leg happening. It so, just oh, wiped it out. Oh, she had it on when she, <laughs> she did it. She had it on, and she just man. man down at Barney's. Um, Is there a dude washing our windows yes. out there? Is can that you what's see happening? it? I don't know if people can see. He's right above the screen, right there. It's not raining that hard. There he is. There he is. Look, 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 look. There he is. There. Oh. Uh. <laughs> oh I, <laughs> I just touched him in his no-no bit. There he is. Okay, there he is. so. Um, there he is. 
<laughs> the reason why we went down to LA, I'm yes. sure you've heard of the No Hate campaign. Yeah, marvelous campaign uh, to uh, take a stance about uh, all kinds of different things. But. Yes, uh, promoting love and equality, and uh, we got to go down and do the shoot. You can go to the No Hate website to find out all the information. Gorgeous photos. And here is, uh, it's me and the girls, that's me and Mary and Mashiach, with the two founders of No Hate, that's Adam and Jeff. And uh, it is a charitable organization, by the way. And what you do, you can, uh, they're actually going to come to Vancouver in the springtime if you want to get your pictures done. That's us doing our shoot. We're so excited and so honored to be a part of it. And uh, basically, they're going to, they go on tour all over the world and they set it up. You do your pose, you pay for your picture, and then all the picture's money goes to charity, which is amazing. Nice, cool mm. idea. That must have been fun. Promoting equality. Quality, which everyone should have. Look at us, we're getting along in everything. Uh, how, can I, we, how can we change? Oh, oh, wait, I just wanted to show you one more picture okay. from my trip. My flight last night, I texted you. I was like, last flight out, flight delayed. Yep. Don't know if I'm going to make it home. That is part of the reason why. I love airlines. I honestly, I really do. I just want to say that. But this, I thought, well, that guy is actually asleep. On, is he's the baggage carrier. Oh, you're kidding. He had his head down on the little steering wheel there. Oh. And I feel bad because I took a picture and I meant to cut out of that photo. So I wouldn't be so uh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe, we'll, maybe we'll delete that out of the photo and, and bleep, bleep over the you saying the, the no, name of the airline. And well. I did get home. But the worst thing was when they make an announcement, but they tell you why you're delayed. Ladies and gentlemen, we just want to tell you that uh, the flight to Vancouver is delayed. Uh, we're just, uh, the brakes are broken, and we're just going to do a quick fix on that and get you out of here. Excellent. Don't fix the brakes quickly. I am happy to Take wait. Take time. Relax. Fix them properly, thoroughly. And how was your weekend? Uh, weekend was really good. Uh, I had a, a guys' night on Friday with uh, a big group of the boys. Did you guys braid hair and paint your nails? Uh, we played poker, and it was uh, for our friend Graham's birthday. And, yeah. and this is just a cautionary tale. Tale. This is what happens when you leave a group of guys in charge of organizing a birthday party for another guy. Uh, because, of course, tradition, sing a song, bring in a cake, everything else. Did a girl pop out of it? This is the cake we got. Oh my got. gosh. It's a Sarah Lee special and that in the middle because we realized that nobody brought birthday candles. Is that candles. a candle? Did you use a tea light? That's a tea light but it's wrapped in tin foil so we don't get the tea light wax all over the cake. All over the cake. Oh, you guys are all class yeah. all the so, time. So, happy birthday, Graham. Is Graham uh, the giant? Graham is my giant, yes. He's six foot seven No, no, he's, I think he's six foot eleven. I could be wrong. Six foot twelve? Six foot thirteen? I'm not sure how that. He's I'm really not sure tall. how the measurement system works, but he is a full uh, foot and a little bit more uh, taller than I am. But he's not tougher than me. Word. Uh, uh. Okay, uh, we have some big news. Uh, something we're very excited about. Uh, we started dipping our toes in the water of this crazy interconnected world on the internet. Uh, it's called we start, the World Wide Web. Yeah, we just found out about it the other year, so we decided <laughs> we would post some of our videos on it on this little site called YouTube. Hey, guess what? We're about to go over a million views. It's definitely going to happen this week. We're doing our uh, YouTube counter. 992,367. We have 433 subscribers. Yeah, what's up with those subscribers? One Come of them on, is people. me because I, did, I didn't realize I wasn't subscribed to our own channel. But I was subscriber number 420, and I thought you'd like that. <laughs> Were you number 420? Yeah. I don't get it. Okay, we're going to check in. Uh, by the way, there's a big, huge surprise that's going to happen. We do go over a million, so you have to watch. We're going to check in with Elise at Rock 101 right now. Here she is. Hey, guys. Well, there's only one week left till Bro Jake's Ultimate Football Party. That's at the Red Robinson Show Theater. And the best part about that is that there's 40 foot screens and their HD. It is like a football watcher's dream. You can of course win tickets with us all week long. We have four packs to give away, but if you don't win, you can head over to Ticketmaster and you can pick up tickets for $15. See you there. How awesome is that? Of course, you can win to get into the party a 40 foot by 28 foot HD Go screen. Giants! Uh, really, Giants. But I love to watch Tom Brady, so yeah. I am a happy camper. Well, what do you need? You need the hotness of the Pats, because there's nothing more beautiful than Tom Brady and football pants. Are you excited to watch the Super Bowl with me, by the way? But New York really is my team. We're going to take a break. Remember